gonna start a, a melody of choruses. Uh, last night we we sang the the blood that Jesus shed for me. So we can keep that that theme going with there was power. There is power. Power.
love how those two parts is tied together. He says, what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. And then after we ask him to make us whole again, he said, prepare me to be that sanctuary. Pure and holy. Drive and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary then, Lord, for you. We're going to sing that chorus one more time. And after which, Brother Garfield Charles will come and lead us in prayer.
Jesus in the scripture declaration, sorry. And after which I'll turn it back in the hands of Reverend Sharon Allen. community. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then after lunch, we had uh, Rev. Bishop Kenrick Samuels um, coming with, um, help me hear somebody. 
Amen. Praise God. Amen. I'm, I'm telling you. You know, we were fed yesterday. Yeah. Richly fed. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. And today, and we digest that. We, we chew upon it. We meditate on it. And today, we are back for more. Because we believe that God has more for us. Amen. Amen. Um, so this morning, we have um, our uh, Minister Demetrius McKelvin. Amen from Washington DC Church. Um as pastor there is Reverend Josephine McKelvin, um, our district superintendent. And we know Brother McKelvin is no stranger to us. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's like our big brother. Uh, yes. not, I mean not big because he's older than us, but just that he towers over us. Amen. But we love him. Amen. 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 Praise God. So he's going to be our uh, instructor for today. Amen. Um, let him let him hear your amens and whatnot. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And we thank God for it. Amen. Our pastors in the house. Amen. Amen. You're making me, amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise, the Lord. Praise God. It's good to be here on, yes. on this. I don't want to mess with the mic. Amen. amen. Somebody got to come at the mic. Amen. amen. Good morning. Amen. Good morning. Um, oh, so good to be here in the house this morning. Amen. Thank you for your prayers and everything. Amen. You see, I'm fighting this cold. Amen. I'm all messed with you. Amen. But we thank God for being here. Amen. amen. We thank God for what the Lord did for us on yesterday. Amen. Amen. And we're looking forward to what God is going to do today. Amen. amen. We're still moving toward being those uh, repairers and restorers that God has called us amen. to. Amen. Amen. How many had a good time so far? How many have been blessed? Amen. 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 How many have been um, answering those questions that we asked? Amen. Um, where Where are you? Because when we leave this place tomorrow, Amen. We want to be able to say, what am I going to, uh, when I go down, amen, what am I going to do to be a repairer and a restorer, amen, in the context in which I am. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen. So we thank God for that. So we're going to, I'm, I'm going to get out to you. We thank God for, amen, all the ministers that are here this morning. We've been holding it down. Amen. amen. Praise God. We thank God for Sister Sharon. Let's give her a hand this morning. Stepping in the gap there and allowing the Lord to use her, amen, in the mighty way to bring us here and to have us, amen, amen in the spirit of retreat. So I'm going to get out of the way. We're here to be blessed, amen. We're here to open up our hearts and receive the word, amen, and we're here to continue to let transformation happen. And I'm so grateful that I'm here, amen, I'm grateful that you are here, amen, and we're going to hear from the Lord this morning. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. 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 equipment up here. I already know. So something's not going to work and we're not going to worry about it. <laughs> That's not, well, we're not worried about that. We're here to hear from God. Amen. And uh, when I looked at this uh, lesson, um, 
you know, yesterday, we, you know, I, I was really engrossed in the, the teachings from yesterday. Um, and I know that's why God has me here, mm -hmm. right? But, you know, sometimes you got to work for your food. Mm -hmm. Amen. You ever had to work for your food? <laughs> you ever went nowhere and didn't have enough money to pay for your food? <laughs> Amen. So I'm working for my food right now, but I'm here to get something from God. Amen. Amen. I told you that in my testimony last night, mm -hmm. um, that this place is special. You don't waste opportunities. Amen. Yes. When you get this age, you start to realize when something is special and when it's happening. Amen. And Amen. so when I heard, I didn't even, yeah. I had no one, I, when I heard, my, my, my ears kind of peaked up. Yes. And I was like, nah, I won't be able to make it this year. But, you know, but God just kept telling me, you need something. Yes. Hallelujah. So I don't know what that is. We're going to find it together. Amen? Amen. All right. Yesterday we talked about the community. Um, Brother Wyatt, Pastor Wyatt was talking about the corporate church and our responsibilities. Amen? Mm -hmm. What we should be about, what we should be expecting. And then we heard a beautiful message on uh, uh, anointed. Hallelujah. I, I put down anointed. And appointed. I don't know. I changed the title, brother. <laughs> um, but we can easily see, you know, how we could change this title today. Mm -hmm. Instead of being I'm a fire starter, I start thinking, you know, I'm a troublemaker. Oh. <laughs> 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 because that's what setting the fire does and start yeah, trouble. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when Paul got to Antioch, he started trouble. Mm -hmm. Amen? Trouble. And trouble followed him. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Matter of fact, as I look through every example of the fire starters, I uh, got good news and bad news. Uh -huh. yeah, each fire starter, uh -huh. they, they got burned a little bit. In approaching to God, wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Mm -hmm. So they say, God, you, you're doing everything. Mm -hmm. I'm praying. Mm -hmm. I'm fasting. I'm at Sunday school. I'm at morning worship. I'm at Monday night prayer. Mm -hmm. I'm at Friday Bible study. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you paying attention? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I felt like that. I felt like that many times. Like, mm -hmm. Lord, I have done the recipe. Yeah. You have not come through with your part. So that's how they were treating God. That's how they were, that's how they were acting. Like God was leaving them. Uh, he, he wasn't paying his bill. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. And so he said, Behold, ye fast for strife and debate, mm -hmm. and to smite with the fist of wickedness. Mm -hmm. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day mm -hmm. to make your voice to be heard on high. Mm. Is, is it such a fast that I have chosen? Mm. A day for a man to afflict his soul? Mm. Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Mm. Will thou call this a fast? Mm. An acceptable day of the Lord. Mm. I'm conflicted mm. because I see this and I, I, I just bring that into today. Mm. And when I put it into today's language, it sounds like just people going to church mm. Mm. and expecting a blessing. Mm. Because I went to church. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. And we see it in our churches sometimes, yes. but we don't want to say nothing. Who wants to say that they see that in their own church? Mm -hmm. But we sit in the pews, lifeless. That's true. Hallelujah. Waiting to feel something. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Uh, Amen. 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 But we're not doing our, uh, our part. We're yeah. just going through the motions. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're going to come back and work on that a little bit too. Mm -hmm. And then he says this, and then I'll stop here and we'll come back to it. Then thou shalt call. Mm -hmm. Well, let me back up eight verse. Mm -hmm. Six verse. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? To loose the bands of wickedness, mm -hmm. well, to undo heavy burdens, mm -hmm. and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke. Amen. We're supposed to be 
yoke breakers. Yes. The house of God is where people come with birth. Yes. Yes. But as it was in the days of old, sometimes we start to add things to what God wants us to do. Yes. And we start to put things on top of people's shoulders. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying you individually, but we, 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 we do it in the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Man. People come in with burdens, and instead of us focusing on what's wrong, we start to say, well, now you're going to need to do this. Mm -hmm. You're going to need to wear that. Mm -hmm. You're going to you're gonna need to follow these ordinances. Mm -hmm. We haven't even dealt with the soul problem yet. But we got them, we got them dressed up, though. Hallelujah. We got them looking good. Brother Luke, brother, brother, brother Kerry brought that out yesterday. We got them, we got them all scaled and on the platter. Hallelujah. Mm. And we don't even know what's wrong. Mm. So when I hear Isaiah, and here in Isaiah, I hear God saying that we need something more than religion. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I harp on that now because I'm at a different stage in life. We go through seasons. Yeah. Right? When I was younger, and we were just running and trying to learn this thing. It was all about following all that. But as you get older, you start to realize that it's about something right. more than that. Yes. Right. Yes. yes. I don't want to just go to church and sit and follow the rules right. and go home and feel nothing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. you know, some of us are married. How many of us are married? You can raise your hand. Right? Now, the one thing about marriage, I'll pick on the men first. <laughs> Go ahead, so how do we know when our wives are, 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 are happy with us? Uh, ask them, how do we know when our wives are satisfied? How do we know when, when we got something right? We'll be happy. We'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> and the way to be happy. And we'll have a little happiness down here. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I'm gonna ask uh, somebody to just get me a um, paper towel. I didn't bring my my, my, my my usual one, and it was so cold out I didn't think I would need it. Hot up in here. Yes. I don't need a little bit. There we go. Thank you. All right. Yeah, that right here. So let's take a little. Let's go a little further. Let's go to Isaiah 1550. Um, we do with fire first. Amen? Yeah. We're talking about being a fire starter. Right? And we use fire. We're, we're, you know, fire is usually not used for anything good, but what's the positive use of it? That's one. Okay. Okay. Start over here. Gold. Oh, you he said gold. You went right for it, brother. So, <laughs> precious metals. What else? Food. Life. Food. Life. Cooking. Life. 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 Eat. Oh, he, oh. <laughs> <laughs> boy, no, I'm looking at this brother. Somebody on fire? <laughs> well, stop teaching and go take care of it. <laughs> All right. So I heard heating up food. I heard metal. What else? Annihilate. Annihilate. Annihilate? Mm -hmm. I like that one. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that one. Mm -hmm. But I did have something similar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else? Illuminate. Illuminate. I like that one too. Fire, Amen. Fire broke the fetters for the Hebrew children. Amen. <laughs> All right. So fire can set you free. Yes. <laughs> refreshes. Yes. Refreshes. Mm -hmm. All right. Purifies. Hmm? I heard you sister Wendy. Okay. <laughs> fire purifies, yeah. cleanses, right? And we're here talking about being fire starters, but we want to know why we're starting to fire. Sometimes fire is used to clear things out. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Right? When you have a field and you work that field, if you didn't know it, they come out and they burn that field yeah. to the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They scorch it. Yeah. You look at that earth, it looks Black. useless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're like, now what are we going to do with this now? Mm -hmm. Amen? So fire has its purposes, and what we need to understand is what is the purpose of the fire? Mm -hmm. Why do we call it fire in the spirit? Amen. 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 Right? Because we need an action. Mm -hmm. Fire is combustion. Mm -hmm. Right? I had to look it up. Mm -hmm. It's just, just when you bring elements together mm -hmm. and you get the right elements, but you need a catalyst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. I can put all the gas, I can cover this place in gas and nothing will happen mm -hmm. until we get a catalyst. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
until we get a spark. Yes. Until we get somebody uh -huh. that's willing to go against the grain. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Like Isaiah is talking about, like God is talking about in Isaiah. Uh -huh. Somebody to cry loud uh -huh. and, 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 and spare not. Because uh -huh. we want to go to heaven. Uh -huh. Amen. I am that's tired right. of seeing our people not get to not not get what they need here in the house of God. Amen. 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 And we see too many people that come and they go out the same way and we sit there and we say, well, they don't want to be saved. Mm -hmm. They just didn't want to be saved. They didn't want holiness. Mm -hmm. Is it that they didn't want to be no. saved no. and they didn't want holiness? No. Or is it that we weren't able to give them a picture of what it is? <laughs> see, we are living in Christ. Amen. We are living epistles. Mm -hmm. If I'm not living a life that makes somebody want to be saved, and I'm not doing the job that God sent me to do, he said that we should go out, amen, and compel, right? And in order to compel somebody, you got to be about something. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. you got to have a testimony yourself. Yes. Yes. you got to know him, right? Yes. So you got to get beyond religion. Religion is where we start. When I got saved, all I knew was religion. Go to church. You do this. I knew all the rules. Can't sing in the choir till you get saved. Amen. <laughs> and all other stuff. I won't get into it. Well, but that's religion. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's the part of the service, the ordinances, and all of that. That's the religion. But that is not how you start a fire. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? You need somebody that has a relationship mm -hmm. with God. Amen. 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 So let's look at a little bit the difference between what it is to have a relationship and religion, right? So somebody go to me. I mean, you guys are going to have to help me out. Somebody go to Malachi 3, 1 through 3, so we can talk about this first. Malachi 3, 1 through 3. The more you work, the less I sweat. Malachi 3, 1 through 3. 3 from verse 1. Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. Two, but who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire, mm -hmm. and like a fuller's soap. Three. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi, mm -hmm. and forge them as gold and silver, Amen. that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Amen. That's where Brother Joseph went with the gold. Right? He thought about that refiner's fire. He's thinking about working that metal and getting it purified, right? right? But there's things that have to go through the fire. Yeah. And and, and we, 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 we don't want it's, it, we resist it. Mm -hmm. You know, when 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 I coached basketball, um, nobody, you know, the first thing they didn't want to run. Right? You you start them out running, they don't want to run. They don't want to run. You got them running. Their tongues are dragging. Nobody wanted to run. But when the first game come along, and that team started running up and down the court and, and running circles around everybody, and their tongues were dragging, amen, then they understood why we were working so hard, yes. amen, yes. to try to get in shape, yeah. amen. And when we look at the refining, the refining of our souls, of our lives, God's had to put us through something. Amen? Absolutely. So everything has to go through the fire. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. First thing that goes through the fire is us. Amen. Amen. Young people, don't be afraid to go through the fire. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, in the military they call it a crucible. Mm -hmm. and, and before you could get out of boot camp, you had to run the crucible. Mm -hmm. And that meant you had to run that hill. You had a certain amount of time to run it. You had to ring the bell. You had to climb all your obstacles. And you had to do it in a certain amount of time. That was for us going through the fire. Mm -hmm. We're in the house of God. We are in a place where not enough of us are going through the fire. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some of us are on the sidelines. Yes. And it's, it's getting tired. Yeah. We, we, this front row right here is getting old. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But that's the wrong road. Yeah. Amen. 
And that's the one thing I've always said. Let's, let's, you know, just to talk about us. All right, I'm gonna make it personal. You know, the one thing we, in, in the Apostolic Faith Church, it takes us too long to transition. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. It takes us so long to get the fruit that by the time we get it off the vine, it's, it's starting to rot. And that's because we don't want to go through the fire. We just got to stay on the vine. It's comfortable on the vine. I'm connected. But the Bible tells me, except a kernel of corn falls to the ground and dies, there will be no life. Hallelujah. Some of us, like Jason, we keep getting up. We die. Like Friday the 13th. We die, but I look around and they walk up again. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the flesh wants to live. Demetrius. Wants to live. Mm. Amen. Every morning I get up and put, look in the mirror, I see more wrinkles. Boy, I'm trying to do something. I pull my face back. I'm trying to run if I can pull my face back. Look in the mirror, you're looking like a greyhound dog. And so I realized that transition is necessary. Yes. 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 Amen. Yeah. We have to be willing. Sometimes we're afraid of transition because we're afraid. Well, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. If I give up my job, mm -hmm. what's God going to do with me? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Don't worry about that. Amen. Hallelujah. Progress in the Lord. Amen. Amen. God got more for you than you look into what you're doing right now. There's more to serving the Lord yes. than calling song yes. service. Yes. Amen. Amen. Matter of fact, anything you're doing in here, I, I would say that's just maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. If it's not happening outside these four walls, we haven't started to serve yet. Amen. If you haven't gotten out there and started working in the ministry, you haven't gotten in the fire yet. You're still on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. You're doing like this. You're warming by the fire. Mm -hmm. But we want to be fire starters. Yeah. Yeah. We want to be the ones out there agitating the situation. Yeah, that's what it takes. That's why I said we should just call it I want to be a troublemaker. Yes. And people say, oh, well, why do you want to be a troublemaker? Because I want to see change. Yes. I want to see growth. Yes. Amen. Don't you yes. want to see that? Yes. Don't you want to walk in your church and yes. feel something yes. different? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Right. Yes. Tired of looking at my aunts and cousins and friends. Yes. I want to see people coming yes. into the house yes. of God. Yes. 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 And I want them to see what I receive. Yes. I was 21 years old when I got saved. And I was at the top of my sin game at 21. Amen. I had just got out the military. Amen. I, I could go in any club in the city. And they knew who I was. But something about God was greater than that. Amen. And I'm looking at people that ain't even good at that. Hallelujah. Why can't we win them? These people ain't even good at sin. Hallelujah. They're not even enjoying it. <laughs> They're just suffering. So we got a lifeline. Amen. Those are, that's who we want to be in contact with. Yes. Hallelujah. We want to get out of the, 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 the ceremony. And that's what happens. We, we start starving. You sit there with that ceremony long enough and you don't feel nothing. All you got is criticism in you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You preach preach too long. Yeah. Yeah. Quiet ain't saying yeah. the right yeah. yeah. I'm so tired. Yeah. I'm so sick and tired. Yeah. I might have said that with too much passion. <laughs> That's my teaching voice. I'm so sick and tired. Not me. No. But. God wants to do something with yeah. us. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's why we're here. Amen. Not just to get recharged. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know that, right? And I've heard this all along. Uh, go back to the old landmarks. Mm -hmm. Remember the old ways. Well, I'm telling you that God's got some new ways. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't stop no. here in, in, in Isaiah. God is still working with us right now. If yeah. we only apply ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Hold our mind. Yeah. If we welcome in the Holy Spirit and say, Lord, do a new thing. Do a new thing. Not, not a, 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 like we're not going to have the Spirit of God. But there's so much yes. that we're just not doing. Amen? Amen. Yeah. All right, now at any time, if anybody have a comment or a question, raise your hand. Amen? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. All right, so we looked at that, and now let's take another look at the purpose of the fire. It says, when we looked at that, the, the metaphor of the refining, finest fire 
is rooted in the understanding of purification and transformation in the physical realm. And that's where it talks about metals and being subjected to high heat and all of that, leaving behind the substance. And thank you, sir. Um, you realize I'm sweating more than I thought I was. Um, it then says, similarly, in the spiritual realm, God often portrayed as the refiner subjects his children to trials, challenges, symbolized by the refining fire to purify and shape their character. Your character. Who are you going to be in Christ Jesus? Who are you going to be known as? Right? We, 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 we have, you know, we take on characteristics. When you, when you play sports, you're going to be known as what? You're going to be a defensive player. You are going to be a shooter. You, you take on a characteristic. What part of the game are you going to attack? Mm. And see, that becomes the hard part because we've been sitting here for so long, we don't, we don't want to get out there by ourselves. Mm -hmm. We don't know which way to go. There's nobody out there leading it. Right? But guess what? That's what a fire starter does. Yeah. A fire starter looks at the situation and doesn't wait for somebody else to do it. Yeah. They take it upon themselves to get involved. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. And we'll start looking at some examples of that. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, when we looked at you know your relationships, they go through the fire. Right? Yeah. Some of us have friends that we started out in this gospel with and they're not here no more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. People that you believed in. People that you thought will always be there for you in your walk with God. And when you look around, it, it hurts when, 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 a, when a brother, I'll say because I'm for sisters and father, but when a brother falls, it hurts. Mm. Because that's somebody that I need. Mm. That's somebody I used to count on. That's somebody I used to talk with. So I need to be more engaged than just, well, we ain't seen brother so-and-so in so long. We have to be about the mindset of going to find them. Amen. Amen. Fire starters don't just sit still. They go around and they look for opportunities. Amen. 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 Whether it be bad or good. <laughs> Even an arsonist. Yeah. They're looking for opportunity. Yeah. They want something that's going to burn big and bright. Well, I want something that's going to burn big and bright. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah, so we want to make sure that we keep that in mind. It's not It's not a bad thing to go through something. You know, when I talked about the husbands and wives, your marriage, right? Marriages go through things. Mm -hmm. If you've been married any amount of time, You've gone through some things. Mm -hmm. And if you've been around 40 years like me, you've seen a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. uh, but if you only been married a couple of years, you, you might not have the same feel for it. Mm -hmm. Might still be on a honeymoon. Oh, yeah. Amen? <laughs> <laughs> might not have had no trials yet. Might not have had no fight. Yeah. But it's got to go through, amen, because it's got to be purified. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. What I think about you and what you think about me has to be real. We talked about this a little bit yesterday. We can't go around with an illusion. We need to know each other. Right. That's why we come together. That's why we've got to be real with each other. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us, I think it's in Thessalonians, that the, the way we have power is that we confess our sins one to another. Amen? Amen? Nobody does that anymore, do they? Mm. Well, I would advise you to find somebody in the gospel that you trust like that. Amen. Right? You heard, you heard uh, Bishop Kimmick talking yesterday about our relationship, so I'll just kind of put that out there. Because when we met, we weren't bishops. Mm -hmm. We weren't ministers. Mm -hmm. we were, uh, we might have, they might have let us do an exhortation somewhere along the line, but we weren't who we are today. But how we got to know each other was by relationship. Amen? Amen. So I see the time is going fast. So let's get to talking about this difference in relationships and religion. I'll come back to that. All right, religion and relationships. So I'll give you the definitions and then you tell me what, which one sounds more like uh, what, what you're experiencing. How about that? It says religion is a range of social, cultural systems, including uh, designated behaviors and practices, morals, beliefs, worldviews, texts, sanctified places, prophecies, ethics, all the stuff we do every, that's all we talk about, right? We now Sunday school and different things, right? And, and, and it says that generally relate to human, spiritual, super, super uh, humanity, to supernatural, transcendental, and mm -hmm. spiritual elements, right? Mm -hmm. And so we look at Religion, we get organization, right? 
And we have an we're an organization, the Apostolic right. Faith Church. We have mm -hmm. our headquarters. Mm -hmm. We come from various branches, right? That's all comes with the, the religion part. Mm -hmm. Then you have the higher mm -hmm. yeah. pastor. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whatever the minister, right? The hierarchy. All that's part of our order. Yes. Traditions. Mm -hmm. This is a tradition. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. You talk about fire starters. I'm going to close with Sister Luella Stewart, a fire starter. Mm -hmm. right? She started a fire, but it's not longer. It's a tradition. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Told you you wouldn't like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we do a thing... It, can, it, it eventually becomes a tradition. Yes. And we keep looking for the fire in that same thing, mm -hmm. but we can't let it become a tradition. That's why we implore you to get into their relationship mode. When you Amen. come up here, it's personal. Amen. We're not, not going gonna to fix the church up here on the mountain. Nobody got no authority up here to fix the church. Amen. Except for baby brother, Pastor Wyatt can do some fixing. I can't do nothing. Amen. Right? But I can come up here and I can get to know my God a little better. Amen. I can come up here and I can put myself on that altar and I can lay myself bare and I can strip myself of the pride and all of the other things, the fear, so that I can be of some use when I come back down the mountain. Amen. The traditions, the ceremonies, Christmas plays, Easter plays, Woman's Day, all those days, they're just ceremonies. That's not what's going to convince the devil that we have something worth having. I know churches that got way more ceremonies than us and they're prettier, they're bigger. You know, they got 5,000 people up on the balcony singing. Amen. So we know that's not what God is about. He's about you and me. Amen. It's a personal relationship, a personal walk, praise God. Relationship, the way in which two or more concepts, objects, or people are connected for the state of being, right? Talked about relationships. Bearing one another's burdens. Confessing your sins one to another. Right? That doesn't mean confessing your sins like uh, I just stole something. It means having somebody that you can talk to. Right? Yeah. You got to be able to be real with somebody because the devil, if he can, let me tell you, the hardest thing is once you start getting positioned, <coughs> hey, start moving up in rank yeah. in the religion. You know, you start out, you got a low title. Then all of a sudden, you choir assistant, junior choir. How many people did the junior choir director thing? Anybody? Nobody? No, no, y'all miss y'all. Oh, <laughs> choir directors? Nobody? There you go. One, two. Back here, choir director. What other? Let me ask Pastor Why. What other? How many jobs did you hold coming up through the ranks? Usher. Usher. Sunday school teacher. Sunday school teacher. Youth leader, youth leader, choir director, choir director, assistant pastor, assistant pastor, bus driver, bus driver, bus driver. <laughs> now pastor, and that came with ten other jobs, didn't it? Yeah. Right, right. So, so when you're working your way up through the ranks, you start putting on chevrons, right? In the military, we call those chevrons, mm -hmm. and then it gets very hard to get real, right? Because when you're private, you ain't got nothing to lose. Yeah. Hallelujah. You just got saved. You ain't even got a title yet, man. You can do just about anything and get away with it. But what happens when they start putting the titles on it? Hallelujah. How, is, how you going to be real then? Amen. That's when you need a friend. Hallelujah. I keep a, I keep a, 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 a note that my brother gave me one time sitting in church. We were on the platform, and he handed me a little note still in that Bible right there. You need a friend. Amen. You need somebody that you can lean on. When I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I was coming up, I didn't have a lot of that because we didn't have a lot of young people. But I was looking around now, I wish I would have had this many soldiers around when I got started. I probably would have had somebody to lean on. Amen? Amen. When you come from small churches, you don't have a lot. It's just me, Daddy, and Sister Lee, and a couple of, you know, you don't have it, right? Brother, brother why you know what I'm talking about? You do what you, you do. You may do. That's why this brother said he had seven jobs. Yeah. <laughs> right? Well, because it wasn't, it definitely wasn't because it wasn't nobody could do it. There's nobody else there. Amen. That's how the Lord uses us. He won't let anybody be there to carry that load for you because he knows what he wants you to be when he wants you to be that. Yep. Hallelujah. Amen. 
You can't just come up and be the pastor. Mm -hmm. God got to send you through the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You got to build a relationship. See, what happens is when you drive in that vein, I know this because I was a pastor, son. Man, you're not singing and praising all the time. Boy, you're talking about to say something terrible. <laughs> Amen. Unless you're going through the fire. They're never ready when you go to pick them up. You're like, oh, man. I done told you I'm coming two days ago. I'm sitting out front blowing a hole. Everybody coming out but you. That's the fire. Serving God is messy. Serving God is messy. You got to get your hands dirty. You're not going to be able to do it sitting back on the back row. I see people sitting on the back row like this. You're not going to get it. Do it. No, I'm not messing with y'all because y'all are back row. I don't mean the physical back row, but you know what I mean. Sitting yes. on the sideline. Yes. Yes. Complaining. Mm -hmm. My thing is, if I got to deal with it, I want to be in the fire trying to shake the fire. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I got to be here anyway. Yes. I might as well get my hands dirty yes. and try to make it worth something that I might enjoy. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You, don't see, you don't see the joy? Get involved. Yes. Do something. Yes. Come up with something that's going to at least get you excited. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. I remember when I first uh, started as a youth leader, I got jealous. I came to Brooklyn. I was just saved, maybe two, three years, and we had a situation in the church. I'll just say it. We had a split. We had one of those things called a split. And, and so half went this way. And, 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 and you know, you, you're just trying to make it. Amen. So when they made me the youth leader, I was okay. I didn't know what a youth leader was. <laughs> but I went to Brooklyn and saw Brother Basilio and that army of young people. <laughs> Most of y'all, that's how I got to know y'all. I, I stayed in Brooklyn because I, no, I didn't have no young people. I had my cousins and stuff, but I would come to Brooklyn. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was I doing when I was coming to Brooklyn? I was learning how to be a fire starter. Yeah, yeah. I, I paid attention to how the operation worked. Yes. I looked around. I checked the whole thing out. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. See, we can't be satisfied with where you are. Right. You can't be satisfied with where you start. No. Hallelujah. Yeah. We didn't have the tools like all of my other churches did, but I just started picking. I'm like, you know what? We can, we can get there. Yeah. We can do this thing. Amen. And so we got to start when you're a fire starter is you got to start by picking something. Mm. Amen? Mm. If you don't do nothing, you got to pick something. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can't just let it stay like it is. Yeah. You can't walk away and leave it the way you found it. Amen? Yeah. So I started going up and down the road and I started looking at what other people were doing. Yeah. Amen? But the other thing I did is I started inviting them yeah, exactly. to come help me yeah. build the church. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. 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 Brother Delroy, y'all know Delroy. Yeah. Yeah. Brother, brother, brother. Uh, I just looked right at him and forgot his name. Brother, brother, brother Brown, brother Joseph, brother Denfield, brother Joseph. Uh, it was about three or four others. I said, hey, I need y'all to come down to DC. DC was Macedonia for me. Amen. Amen. And all I did was call, and then when I looked up that Saturday, these brothers showed up in front of 513 M Street, jumped out, they had the tracks, yes. they had the yes. area, yes. they showed me how to, how to canvas the area, yes. and I was out there with them just following. Yes. 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 By the time y'all leave here, yes. I'm going to have my own arm. Yes. None of the stuff I said worked. <laughs> but I had to start something. We had to start somewhere. We did soup kitchen. We did anything we could think of. We went out in the highway and the byways and we compelled them. And I had a selfish motivation. I don't want to be in here by myself. Tired of serving God with just somebody here, here. Mom and Daddy. <laughs> Amen. 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 Fire starters. Yes. Don't take no for an answer. Amen. Amen. What's my time looking like? It's flying. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Doing good. Amen. Relationships. Yes. In relationship, 
I'm going to focus on one thing because there's too much there. Discipleship. Mm -hmm. Discipleship. Mm -hmm. Sister Lloyd did a teaching when I was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. First time I came to youth conference as a delegate. Mm -hmm. As a delegate, Sister Kelly sent me to New York at 13 years old. And I didn't get to go with the kids because they didn't have no kids. It was the youth conference. Mm -hmm. They had developed no children's program. <laughs> it was all adults. <laughs> And I sat there in the blue room and listened to Sister Lloyd teach on discipleship. And it stayed with me to this day. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Discipleship is how you share this gospel. Amen. Amen. Whether you are female or a male, does not matter. Just Amen. because the disciples were 12 men does not mean discipleship can only be done by men. Disciples are walking along. Amen. You won't do it on your own volition. Well. You won't do it of your own uh, heart. But when you get tired of being lonely and you need a friend, yeah. you're going to go. I watched my granddaughter the other day. Mm -hmm. She's sitting outside playing with herself, playing, playing by herself in the, in the driveway. Her brother don't want to go outside. He want to play games all day. Mm -hmm. And she's just playing with herself, riding a bike by herself. I looked out the window. I said, poor thing. <laughs> when I looked up again, there was three kids in my, in my driveway. <laughs> kids I ain't never seen. <laughs> I said, where you find these kids at? I, I know them, Papa. You don't know these kids. <laughs> what if we had the same mentality? Amen. What if we left Amen. here right now with the same Amen. mentality? Amen. What if we left here and said, Lord, just one. Just yes. one. Just one. Amen. I want to know what it feels like. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what you're discipling? You, you know, most of the time, there's a, if you're doing it as a title, you don't know, but you got to do it individually. Individually. Amen. Amen. You know, there's somebody that wants to know Jesus. Yes. 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 yes, please. That's my thing. One to one. one get to in one. an airplane and somebody next to me. Amen. I'm going to start something. Remember from New York to Chile. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you know the Lord uh -huh. gives you the words where they want more. And you could tell yeah. when they want more or when yes. you just shut up. Exactly. 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 It feels good to you. And you got excited, right? Amen. By the time you land it, didn't your spirit feel alive? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That meant you're always talking to one person. Yeah. Mm. So, and, 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 and not, it never got tired. Never got tired. <laughs> Young people, it's addictive. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's scary at first. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Because you're talking to somebody about your life when your yes. disciple is different. Witnessing yes. is one thing. Witnesses, how you doing, sister? Would you like to read this material? No, this literature? No. You walk on? Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Discipleship is, man, how you doing? Where you at? Where you at in life? How are things going? That's discipleship. Yes. Hey, I'm going somewhere sad. You want to come with me? Right? That's yeah. discipleship. Right? I get you with me, and then you see how good I can play ball, and then you want to hang out with me more. Yeah. Right? What, use what you have. Amen. Whatever it is you're good at. If you're a gamer, Amen. then get them interested in games. Yes. Whatever it is that you have, share it. Share it. Amen. Amen. That's the way to the cross. Amen. You bring somebody with you, you yes. take them no matter what, but it, it starts with. I just want to be a part of this thing. Yes, sir, Brother Joe. I thank you for saying that because sometimes you think it's always got to be over a word. Mm. And sometimes you got to play the basketball. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you got to grab something to eat. Yeah. Mm. Amen. You know, when you get them in that one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. you know they're not going to run off that table with that food. Amen. 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 You, you got them. You get their you know, attention. So you got them. We got to use every opportunity we get. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we want to we wanna yeah. add yeah. discipleship, yeah. right? It's part of the relationship. Yes, my sister. Yes, I think it would be no trap. Mm -hmm. And then somebody has given no trap for another religion. Mm -hmm. But you have <coughs> got the same life. Mm -hmm. Should you join with that person? Well, y'all hear the question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you give no trap, like I give no trap, this lady, she's got an advantage. Oh. I am a pastor, mm -hmm. you know, and then she wants us to be together to go out and give our tracks together, but we are not on the same line. What, what, what's, what's the, let's dig in, what kind of, what's the, Seventh-day Adventist. Oh, Seventh-day Adventist. They, 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 they go to church on Saturday. Oh, I got you, I got you. They Christians, though. Okay. So, 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 uh, what can we do with that? Right? Um, this is, it's, it's probably going to be a conflict in that one yeah, because yeah. you got two different religions going, exactly. right? And religion is the base. Remember, I told you we come to Christ. We come to Christ through that, but it doesn't mean you can't find common 
Amen. 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 The only reason I say it's a conflict is because if I'm handing out material and it says one thing, and you handing out material and it says something else, and the person gets down the street, they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> they together. Right, 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 right. But fellowship, prayer, you sharing your love, you sharing your prayer, you sharing your testimony. Amen. There is nothing. You, you know, that's how you win saints. That's how you win people to Christ. Yeah. By showing them who you are, by sharing your 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 relationship with God, it's your relationship with God that you're sharing. Amen. Yes. So you might not be able to do that part of it, but you're going to find something else that you can do. Right? Yeah. Anybody else have any can advice I say for something me? Real quick? Yes, please. So when I relocated to Orlando, mm -hmm. I relocated to work at a Seventh Day Adventist institution, okay. and we had prayer mm -hmm. every morning in my department. I was a manager. And I call prayer every morning, and at least 50% of my employees were Seventh-day Adventists. Mm. And we formed circles, mm -hmm. and we prayed, yeah. and they brought me, mm -hmm. and when someone came out with cancer, mm -hmm. we laid hands Amen. on them. Amen. But there's a scripture that says two can walk together except in the So I won't go out witnessing with right. them. Right. You, you, you pick, pick your back, yeah. what you can't you do, you do what you can agree. Yeah. I'll I tell you, I told you I used to get in trouble. Um, <laughs> when I was a youth leader, we did, a, we did our first retreat and we went to this uh, facility and they had multiple groups there. And me, you know, I'm not, I'm not afraid to get, get involved. So when I met the other group there, they were there with their youth and I'm like, oh, well, you know, we having a prayer, come on down. And she, her, she brought her group down and came down, we were holding hands and I, I let her lead the prayer. And she said, Father God, Mother God. <laughs> You know what? I'm still here. <laughs> the devil can't win. That's why I said, don't be afraid. Sometimes we're hiding because they've told us this thing is so precious. And we do what we do. When you do, when you get something really precious, what do you do with it? Say it again. Lock it up. Lock it up. Yeah. Right? And what do we teach about this gospel? That it's what? It's precious. Right? And so that's the only piece we learn. All we learn is that this is precious, but we don't learn that it's powerful. Amen. We don't learn that it will overcome. He said, yes. let your good overcome the evil. Yes. If you get confronted with something out there, don't be afraid. The Holy Ghost is with you. All you got to do is have a pure heart. Amen. 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 If your heart is pure, let me tell you, God rescued from me from many mistakes. I took the youth group one time down to King's Dominion. We had a nice fellowship. We fellowship with Brother Mike and the church and everything. But on that Sunday, I, at that Saturday, I got us in a little bit of trouble because I didn't read. And I didn't realize it was Gay Pride Day. <laughs> and so I got all my young people, and I'm standing in line with little Brian. I had Brian Nettie and, uh, and Anthony Nettie. And, uh, and there was two guys standing in front of us, and I, I thought they were a little too close. But I wasn't paying no attention. You know, because we're in public. Everybody said, okay, that's just one couple. But then I started looking around, and I said, something don't look right. Mm -hmm. Everybody's holding hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then here comes Sister Winnie. Brother D, did you know this was gay pride? <laughs> Obviously, I didn't. But guess what? We're still here. Mm -hmm. What am I trying to say? When you go and work for God, you just you 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 you're gonna you're gonna uh, you're gonna experience some setbacks. Mm -hmm. But don't let that discourage you. Amen. Amen. I, it didn't discourage me. I just realized from now on, check the schedule. Right. It's precious, but we can't hide it under a bushel. Amen. And unfortunately, I believe that's what we're doing. We want to preserve this thing and, 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 and until, until Jesus comes. Lord help us. Um, uh, I remember when we had, I wanted to, like, reach out to the community and I was asking the Lord like what do I have in my hand mm -hmm. right and I remember Moses all he had was a stick mm -hmm. he did a whole lot with that yes. and then um, it just came to my mind to start like a summer program we didn't have a lot of people but then when they started signing up we had like 30 or 40 something students we've never done before but if you have an idea God will bless it God will bless it fire start 
That's all it is. It's not magic. It's not magic. No. It's stepping out. Yeah. It's just stepping out and seeing what's going to happen. Yeah. And sometimes it's going to be good, but guess what? It's going to be a learning experience. Yeah. At the very least, you come out of it a little stronger. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. At the very least, you come out of it a little wiser. Yeah. Now when God puts you in this position, now you got a little bit of experience. Mm -hmm. And you know not to take your group to King's Dominion. <laughs> Amen? Amen? You learned it while you were coming up. Right. This is the time to learn. God's going to need us down the road, and we can't be in training on, with training wheels on no. out there no. going on the gospel. All right? What's our time looking like? It's 11.25? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Five more minutes? No. no. no we're we're five 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 oh, yeah. you're giving me a sign there, brother. What does it mean? <laughs> Did I say something about the handle business? Yeah. No, I trust you. But, but, but can I say something? Yes. Else? I think um, we tend to get intimidated because we really don't take time to study the Word of God. Yeah. And when you when you arm yourself with knowledge, you can be more comfortable in your defense. Um, you see, look, even like let's take for instance. The question that um, my sister just asked about the comparison between her giving out track and the Seven Day Adventist giving out track. Well, I like what um, Pastor Emmett said. Mm -hmm. We can communicate, we can fellowship together, but except we agree, mm -hmm. we can't really walk together. And so I can fellowship with you, I can even say, you know, in this sense, because we also know the knowledge of the seven day, they're also trying to share the word. Um, we just differ a little bit. So I can say, well, God bless you, you know, but I want to continue this way. Mm -hmm. Whereas if I'm dealing with um, someone who's going to deny the Lord, oh. um, let's, let, let's say it as it is. Like, let's say we say Jehovah Witnesses. Mm -hmm. Then I ain't telling you, God bless you, go ahead, because yeah. the Bible tells me, don't bless you, hey. and send you off that way. Right. So I think, uh, I think once we really get to know the Word of God, yeah. you know, yeah. um, we can defend and be more comfortable. And be comfortable, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So that's what, that's what we're doing up here, right? That's what we're yeah. up here for. We're yeah. supposed to be putting on the whole armor um, of God. Uh, yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. We take too much time getting that armor on now. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. We're not going after it. We're not being aggressive. We're not, yeah. you know, that's why we used to push it so hard when somebody got saved. We yeah. started running after them right away. Yeah. You got to yeah. get the whole armor on. Yeah. Because if you don't, you're going to go out unprotected. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, we got a movie Christian yeah. coming in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what happens? Yeah. Man, the armor on. <laughs> you can't go out without armor. That's Amen. Right. Yes. So we thank God for that. Thank you, brother. Amen. So um, let me jump to this real quick. I want somebody to go to Isaiah 1, 11 to 13. <laughs> somebody read that for me out loud. 11. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, says the Lord? I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts. And I delight not in the blood of bullock or of lambs or of eagles. When he comes to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand to tread my courts? Bring no more great oblation. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and Sabbaths, the calling of assemblies, I cannot away with. It is iniquity. Even the solemn meeting. Mm -hmm. That's verse 13. Even the solemn meeting. Yeah. Even the thing you think is holy. Yeah. That's why Paul said even your, your righteousness is as a filthy rag. Yeah. You yeah. cannot be caught up with the tradition of it. Right. We always have to come back yeah. to the relationship. Yeah. Lord, yeah. see me as I am. Lord, help yeah. me to see myself yeah. as I am. Yeah. Amen. When we get into that part, then we can get into the relationship part. Because when you're in a relationship with somebody, they're going to tell you how you look. Amen? Yeah. When I get dressed, uh, the, the, when I was there in Atlanta, I, I thought I looked good. I had my shirt, my tie on, ready to go. And my wife said, you're not wearing that. I'm like, you don't broke all that confidence. I said, what's wrong with it? She's like, well, go on and wear it. I'm like, I can't wear it now. Amen. Right? That's what we do. We help each other. Right? Yeah. We're dressing up. We're in a dressing room. Somebody, if you don't look right, somebody should be able to tell you, hey, brother, don't go out there looking like that. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Amen. 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 
not about the religion, it's about the relationship. We keep trying to do it with the religion. You are not supposed to do No, hey brother, I don't want you looking like this, sister. I don't want you looking like that. I don't want you to look like a child of God. Amen. 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 Not so you can sing on a choir. Amen. Amen. So that you can get the full effect of your salvation. Amen. People are not seeing Christ through you right now. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, and then one more. Uh, Luke 11, 39 to 42. Luke 11, 39 to 42. Talking about being a fire starter. And the Lord said unto him, Now do you Pharisees make clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but your inward parts is full of ravening and wickedness. Ye fools, did not he that made that which is without make that which is within also? But rather give alms of such things as ye have. And but all things are clean unto you. Amen. And then read that 46 verse 40. 46. Woe well unto you also, ye lawyers, for ye laid men with burdens grievous to be born. And ye yourselves touch not the burdens with one one of your fingers. Mm. So 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 we gotta look at this thing. Right? We talk about it. We always say we're not going to do it. We're not going to try to scale the fish. We're going to bring the fish in. And we, but we'd be scaling them before they can get to the front door. Amen. We don't want to wait till Christ be formed in nobody. we got to put them in that today. Or, and, and, and see, what he's trying to say is, you, you, we, we, we have the power. There's power in the gospel. Amen. There's power in the gospel. You can lighten the burden. Of your of your fellow man, you can lighten the burden of any, especially when it, when a new convert comes in. We can either make that thing grievous, mm -hmm. or we can lighten that burden for them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. God gave us that power. Amen. Amen. We have it. It's right here in the Scripture. He was chastising the Pharisees because they knew the word. That's why, right? You won't see Jesus chastise anybody anywhere unless they were lawyers. Doctors, and it meant doctors of the law. Because they knew better. And what was he saying? You you, you have the power to lift the burden, but instead of lifting the burden, you steadily add it. Yes. Amen. We want to be fire starters. Amen. It's up to us to undo that burden. I'm not going to my leaders and try to get them to change rules, but I can be a disciple. I can't disciple. I can't work with the person. Yes, I can't yes. help them bear that burden. Yeah. I can't help them understand it. There's more that we can do. Amen? Amen. And that's what we want to be about. Praise God. Any questions or comments before we move on? Can, can I, uh, yes. And then Brother uh, Joseph. I was in a, on the bus one day and a young man came in and he was witnessing for seven day adventures and um, he was saying very good things about Christ and everything, and then in saying that um, if you don't um, go to church and serve on the server today, you cannot make heaven, mm -hmm. and this and that. I was kind of quiet then. Something inside me just said, no, you have to speak to this brother. And I went to him, I said, excuse me, brother, it's, it's okay. You are doing what God wants you to do. Mm -hmm. I say, however, these people that you are witnessing to, many of them are unbelievers. I say, you, t you, you, put, you. It's like you, you, you have a snake in your hands, and you come, you calling them to come and take a breath, mm -hmm. and they, they're not gonna come to you. Mm -hmm. I say, oh, sister. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that I'm actually pushing them away? Mm -hmm. I say, it sounds like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they say, oh, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I say, what God wants us is to preach the gospel mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I say, God will finish the rest. Yeah. Ours is to go yeah. and preach yeah. 
Yeah. The gospel. The gospel. Amen. Let God do the Hallelujah. Amen. This is what God got me. This is what got me. This is what got you that Sunday or that Saturday or that Monday. It's what it's what it's what keeps you. Amen. Amen. Just the gospel. They'll figure the rest out. Amen. Mm -hmm. In in due time, if they walk with Christ, they'll get the rest. Amen. Amen. But we can't be intimidated. We can't be afraid. So let me jump to this. It says, just when it looks like the end is near, when the hope is gone and the light is gone dim, God reveals his plan of deliverance. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the situation can be hopeless. But remember this, God has already chosen those he will use to ignite the fire. Amen. Uh, they might be uh, tending to tending the sheep, might be plowing twelve yoke of oxen, uh, or they might be at a tree at a retreat at Camp Deer Park with no idea the power they are walking around with. Right? So, somebody turn uh, to First uh, Kings eighteen. First Kings 18. Amen. One of the things I want to talk about is some of the things that usually get us intimidated when we in small numbers, right? Or when we feel like we're left out. Uh, when we feel like, you know, everything is going on and we just, we're just marking time. Amen? So if we get in that 18th chapter, um, when you get it, somebody, a, a good reader, just, uh, I, I don't know which ones I want, but just start at verse 7. And it came to pass after many days that the word, the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go, shoot thyself unto it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. And I will send rain upon the earth. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, okay. Yep, keep going. Oh. Start at 18. Um, we'll stop at 21, or I might stop you before that. But keep going. And Elijah went to shoot himself onto Ahab. And there was a sword famine in Samaria. And Ahab called Obadiah, which was the governor of his house. Now Obadiah feared the Lord greatly, for it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord that Obadiah took a hundred prophets and hid them by fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water. And Ahab said unto Obadiah, Go into the land unto all fountains of water and unto all brooks. Peradventure we may find grass to save the horses and mules alive, that we lose not all the beasts. So they divided the land between them to pass through all it. Ahab went <coughs> one way by himself, and Obadiah went another way by himself. And as Obadiah was in the way, behold, Elijah met him, and he knew him. And fell on that, and fell on his face, and said, "Art thou that my lord Elijah?" And he answered him, "I am. Go tell thy lord. Behold, Elijah is here." And he said, "What have I sinned that thou wouldst deliver thy servant into the hand of?" Okay, we'll pause right there. All right. So at that first part right there, we see Elijah. Where, where is Elijah coming from right now? Right. So we, we know that Ahab had been pursuing Elijah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And Ahab had no, he had no religion. He just, we, we ain't going to get into Ahab and Jezebel. But, but he was pursuing, he had been pursuing Elijah all this time, and Elijah was seemingly in hiding. Amen? And then he met Obadiah, and Obadiah said of the prophets, I got a hundred of them, and I'm doing what with them? Yeah. Amen? And so sometimes we get ourselves on our hind feet, and this is what I just wanted to get this message across. We can't hide in the church. Ooh. There's no hiding in, in the gospel. Amen. Amen. Amen? Sometimes we're just hiding in the church. Mm. Amen. Amen. We're not doing it. We don't want anybody. We don't want to make any noise. When we go out, the, when we leave the church, we almost change our persona so we can look like everybody else. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Fit in. And then when we get back in, we get into our little huddle shape. Yeah. And then when we come out, we stand up straight again. Yeah. Amen. We are able to walk up. Right. Yeah. When Elijah met Obadiah, he said, go tell Ahab, I'm here. Amen. 
Oh, now Obadiah went on to talk about how every time, you know, they went to look for Elijah before God would hide him. But he told him, no, 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 no. This time, you go tell him, I'm here. And what am I saying? We have to show ourselves to the enemy. At some point, Amen. we got to present ourselves, present our church, yes. present our, our, our walk Amen. before the enemy. Yes. yes. We can't just keep doing it in front of each other. No. That's right. I love that you guys love me. Amen. I love you. Amen. I grew up in this. Mm -hmm. But guess what? I got to show this outside these walls. Amen. I can't just Amen. keep coming up in here. It's Brother D. It's Brother D. No, I got to make myself known. Amen. Elijah made himself known. Amen. It was time. Amen. The Bible says the vision is for an appointed time. time. Amen. The time was there. Elijah knew that was the time. And I'm saying to us, when is our time? Mm -hmm. When is it going to be our time? When are we going to show ourselves and prove this gospel for what it is? It's one thing to say you're the best. Mm -hmm. But it's another thing to prove it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? That's what they say on Sunday. That's why you play the game. Yeah. You play the game because you say you're good, but then you got to prove it. As children of God, we have to go out and we have to face the enemy yes. yeah. with this good thing we have. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And not be afraid. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The devil can't take this from us. No. The devil can't take this from us. Mm -hmm. It's too good. Amen. You've heard the testimonies. You've heard how folks have been coming up here all this time and, and, and the deliverances. Um, women that couldn't have children, mm -hmm. people that were sick, cancer. You've heard one testimony after another. You've heard more than enough to make a decision. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You've heard more than enough to make a decision. Somebody, matter of fact, let's read that. Habakkuk 2, 2. Can you get it? Just read it out loud. Habakkuk 2. And read two through, I believe, five or six. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision mm -hmm. and make it clear yes. on tables. Thank you. Mm -hmm. run back and it. Yes. For the vision is yet for a point in time. Yes. But at the end it shall speak mm -hmm. and not lie. Mm -hmm. Though it tarries, we will surely come. It will not tarry. Mm -hmm. It will not tarry. Man, yeah. believe that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let them talk to the talk to the to, to us gray hair folks up here. Do we still believe that? Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Yeah. They're waiting. In the scripture in the New Testament, it talks about the groaning. It said all the creation is waiting and groaning for us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Any comments? Brother Joseph had a comment. So, oh, Joseph I didn't get you, Brother Joseph. Well, you probably forgot your point by that time. Don't forget. Okay, okay, come on with it. It's not too late. I can work it in. I promise you. Yeah. No, I, I just was thinking back to what you shared about that, how it's it's so important for us to know and to share mm -hmm. and to be willing to tell yes. us about this gospel. Yeah, you know, I, I thank God for the opportunity we had. You know, when they would take us out to street meeting, yeah, amen. When take us out to shelter, yes, shelter, yeah. And sometimes you intimate, you felt, you felt like, why me? Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes they didn't prepare you beforehand. Yeah. You're walking down the side where it says, you know, you think you just want to be in the background crew, yeah. And all of a sudden they say, well, you give me the word, and you're like, amen. You give me the word while you're walking down the side, yes. yes. And but it was preparation for opportunities amen. that you never would expect to have. Amen. Preparation. I that word, I'm going to jump off of that. Come on. I was going to say that sometimes I feel like we confuse who the enemy is. Yeah. Because, like, a lot of, we have a lot of opposition right now in the world against the Christian church. Mm -hmm. And we've been, but I just feel like with a lot of things rising that, you know, people are looking at us and they want us to appear a particular type of way. And mm -hmm. We look at them as the enemy. Yeah. Like, oh, 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 now they got them up. They right. out of there. Now they got them up. Mm -hmm. You know, and all these things. And it's, it's very important for us to be a light. I, I work for the church on the weekends. I work in a secular mm -hmm. space, mm -hmm. and the majority of the people there are not heterosexual people. Amen. And I have to maneuver that space. And you know, I'm not saying that I'm out there like ah oh, church, 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 church. No. But they know where I'm at on a Friday. They know, mm -hmm. they know where I'm at. That's they don't good. have to question that. No, that's right. And just just being me, mm -hmm. just being me Amen. was enough to have a conversation with someone about who Jesus is. Amen. And it's Amen. like, 
I, I hear other Christians, you know, we're so frustrated mm -hmm. with the way the world is acting as if that the world is acting any crazier so. than it is. Yeah, so right. It's like the world is the world. They're going to promote their agenda. Amen. Right. Amen. And it's like we are not even in a space to say, okay, you are a sinner mm -hmm. doing what sinners do. Mm -hmm. I need to compel you that you need to come out of that. Amen, amen. It's more like you're the enemy. Mm -hmm. I'm not messing with you. Right, right, I'm gonna right. stand my amen. ground. I'm a, you're not right. gonna take my rights away. Right, it's right. Like, yeah, amen. We, we have higher ground. Yeah, we are not our enemy. No. The devil is our enemy. Yeah. Yeah. We are one enemy. Yeah. And everybody that he is fooled and tricked. Yeah. Amen. That's our mission yeah. to expose the lie. Yeah. It's a lie. Yeah. All it is is a lie. We know it because we live in this. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I know I'm saved. Ain't nobody tricked me into this thing. Amen. I know my walk with God. Amen. I know my relationship with God. I know in whom I believe. I'm not Amen. up here because I'm trying to figure it out. I know who I believe. But Amen. it is my job to share that. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you for that. Uh, let, let's look at, uh, you know what I want to go into because I'm running out of time. I want to look at one more thing. And I want to talk, I want to just kind of put us in a mindset of what God has for us. Amen? Amen. So if we go into 1 Chronicles 12, 1 and 2. Mm. I mean, you got to listen to this one. I'm going to make you work. Somebody get 1 Chronicles 12, 1 and 2. Somebody else get verse 8. Somebody else get verse 33. And somebody else get verse 38. And if you do it. First Chronicles 12. First Chronicles 12. One, somebody two. read 1 and 2. Now somebody these, read 8. Somebody read 33. And somebody read 38. Now these are they that came to that came to David to Ziklag while he yet kept himself close because of Saul, the son of Kish. And they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows and could use both the right hand and the left in rolling stones and shooting arrows out of a bow, even of Saul's brethren of Benjamin. Amen. Amen. Keep it going. We got the next one. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. And the Gadites there separated themselves unto David and to the whole to the wilderness, men of might and men of war, fit for the battle, that could handle shield and buckler. Whose faces were like the faces of lions mm -hmm. and were as swift as the rolls upon the mountain. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Next. Yes. 33. 33. 33. Who's got 33? Uh, uh, Zebulun, such as went forth battle, expert in war with all instruments of the war, 50,000 which could keep playing. They were not of dumb heart. Mm -hmm. And 38. Good keep breath. Came with the prophet art to Hebron to make king to make David king over all Israel and all the rest also of Israel were well, one heart to make David king. Amen. Amen. But look at the descriptions. They were experts. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. How do you become an expert? To use. Yes. Amen. You gotta be, you gotta, you gotta put it to use. Yes. Your salvation has got to be more than something in your testimony. Amen. I'm saying sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that we do by tradition. Mm -hmm. And we start out doing it because it's real, but we end up just repeating it. Amen. When you repeat your testimony, it's supposed to be a weapon. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm saved. Amen. That speaks volumes. Yeah. I'm delivered. Amen. 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 Not just so I can testify among the saints, but so that you, so the devil will know I have power. Amen. I'm walking with Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Knows that you're walking. He's gonna try you, but when he see that you're standing in the covenant under the skill, Amen. Right now we not we 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 we're just going through the motion. Amen. But there are more skills. In order to use them, we have to be out working in the field for God. Amen. 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 That's how you develop your. That's how you develop your gift. Amen. We have gifts, but we sit on it and we just hope somebody else is going to do it. Amen. Every time they call for a volunteer, we're looking left and right. Amen. Every time there's a time or a need, we're looking to see who's going to. It's got to be us. Amen. We are God's weapon of choice. Amen. Amen. And the other thing it says it was able to keep rank. Now that's the part that I think we, you know, that's, that's, that, that's that, the fire starters. 
fire starters usually ain't good at keeping right. No. Amen. Amen. Sometimes fire of a double heart. Fire starters are not double heart. Mm. Amen. We have one mind. Hallelujah. Yeah. We want to start a fire for the gospel. We, yeah. we want to energize as many as we can. Yeah. We want to take as many with us as we can. Yeah. We are tired of being alone. Amen. 10,000. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So that's what we want to have that mindset. That when we step out, now I know, you know, you're looking at Brother D, it's like, well, that's easy for you to say, Brother D. You know, you're 6'5", and people look up and they back away from you. But no, 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 it doesn't matter. The power of God. I'm walking under the anointing. Amen. Believe me, 6'5", and 60 Amen. years old ain't nothing. That's not going to scare nobody. They see that. I'm on one, too, to God. Amen. Lord, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's the concern for the things of God. Yes, yes. yes. But if we're going to be fire starters, you got to do more than have concern. Amen? Amen. You're going to have to get in a fight. Amen. Amen. That's what God was telling you. God knew it's hard. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God knew it's like, oh, I got somebody to run. I got somebody ready to fight. See, Gideon yeah. wasn't just sweeping. Gideon was there. That, he was like, yeah, if I could just get my hand on one of the million <laughs> I wouldn't be hiding this week. Amen. We got to have that mentality. Yes. Amen. Amen. That we were going to go after what God has for us. Amen. That we're going to stop sitting back and just take whatever. Oh, that's good enough. It's not good enough. No, no. It's not what God has for us. No. God has more for us. No. And as soon as we stand up and demand it, we can start taking yes. what is ours. Amen? Amen. 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 So we thank God for Gideon as a fire starter. And I'll close with, 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 with this story. This is one we're familiar with. And that's Sister Stewart. And that's why we're here. Amen. Amen. See, I can. I, we, we've been talking about it last night. You heard all the testimony you need yeah. of how God works. Yes, yes. We heard about the dream. Yes. The vision. Call it a dream. It was a vision. Yes. It was a vision. It was a vision from God. We call them dreams. Mm -hmm. But God will give you a vision when you get concerned for the work of God. Yes. 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 I know this from experience. Some things I preach because I, 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 I've read it, but some things I've lived. Amen. And I'm passionate Amen. about the things I've lived. Amen. Yes. Yes. 22 years as a youth leader, you see things. And, and, and I got to the point that, you know, you get frustrated with, 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 with losing things and you just want to start gaining. Yes. Amen. Amen. You want to start winning back those souls yes. that just drifted off. And that's where you gotta get, you gotta get to that point where we're like get in, where we are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yes. Amen? Amen. That's the only thing that's gonna make you go back and make a difference in your home. Amen. Yes. You have to do it in your home. Yes, you do. I had to do it in my home. Yes. Man. The devil had taken up residency right there at 9820 Farm Pond Court. And me and my wife going out every Sunday going to church. Coming back in the same car, amen, and facing the enemy right there in the house. Mm -hmm. Can't finish a conversation without something getting off track. Mm -hmm. A misunderstanding here. After a while, you got to just say, you know what, Satan? I'm tired of this. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you to go back to your home church or your home and tear it up. Mm -hmm. But don't accept the status quo. Amen. 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 God has more for us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what we want to be. We want to be five stars. The same testimony that Sister Stewart left us. Somebody in here right now. Amen. Amen. Somebody in here right now. Amen. Doesn't mean young or old. I don't care what the age. Sister Stewart was not a youth. When she came up with that idea. Amen. 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 Brother Wyatt was already well into preaching and, and ministering and pastoring and all that. And, and, and had done all those experiences. But they were still concerned for the youth. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. It took them away from their positions of authority. It took them away from their positions of anything they had accomplished. And they put it all aside and came up here on the mountain Amen. with some children. Amen. I want you to see the front end and the back end so Amen. you'll want to do it. Amen. So you'll want to be involved in this work. Just from coming up here, amen, we convert from religion to relationship. Amen. Amen. That's why this place is special. Yes. We leave religion at the bottom yes. of that road yes. right there. Yes. Yes. When we made that right turn, we didn't come up here apostolic. 
We didn't come up here, whatever church you came from, when we made that right turn to come up that road, we came seeking God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why I'm here. I'm not here repping. I'm not here repping my organization. I'm not here repping nothing but Jesus. I know He works. I know it worked in my life. I'm going to talk about it everywhere I go. Even when I work in fire, I'm like, I can understand how Jeremiah felt. It's like fire. Shut up in my home. Hallelujah. We want to leave here with fire. Stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for your patience. Hallelujah. It's not about. You know, we, we think that this is is is, is, is like a good performer, but we're not. No. This, this is about relationship. Yes. 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 This, this, this is about God trying to show us what it's all about. Amen. This is about God trying to get us to understand that He is no longer satisfied with our empty fast. He is no longer satisfied with our church going and our 9.30 Sunday school and our 11 o'clock morning worship where we sing three songs, we have a prayer, maybe a testimony. That's not going to do it anymore. Not now. Not now that the devil has gotten so cold. You heard Sister Zah talking about what she had to go into to work on the weekends, right? That's real. Yeah. We're facing it whether you want to or not, but some of us are just walking around out there like this. And we want to say it with your chest. I'm a child of God. Amen? And we want to believe. We want to be what? Fire. Fire starter. Amen. I'll turn it back into the hands to Sister Allen. Thank you for your patience. Let me get on my sweat rags out of your way. Amen. God bless you. God prepare us. Thank you for the word. Thank you for being an instrument to be used by God to teach us to be fire stars. Amen. Amen. And if you have not been asking God to, to, re, to rekindle over some to start that fire within you. Don't leave this place the same. I know sometimes we used to go to the campground and, and have barbecues and we used to have to fan the flame to get the fire going. But when we're in the friends of God, He shouldn't have to fan the Hallelujah. The spark should just be ignited. Yes, Lord. And fire should go from you. You've never seen some bushes, some, some one tree stuff.
We thank that God for Brother Demetrius, Minister Demetrius, that Father God that you use to teach us and remind us that God to be the ones who help us to be. That Father God, you thank you that God you taught us and reminded us of God to be fire starters, that Lord. Thank God, we thank that God you can lead us to God to be into good trouble, man. Good trouble, that God. Good trouble to see hearts and lives that need to be touched. Good trouble, oh Father God, that says, oh Father God, we're not going to stay in the pressure floor any longer, God. Good trouble, oh Father God, and fire, fire starters, that God is still, Father God, use us. Take us into the place and space you have us to be. To be used as your instruments to transform others, not by our own, but that God to be leading them and guiding them, that God to, to know you want to know his life eternal, that God. To find us where we are, to change us, that God, to kindle within us, that God, and to rekindle the fire within us, that God. Some of God who their fire have gone down, oh God, don't need to be. Oh God, who stood up again, oh Father God. Those, oh God, who've been turned, oh Father God, who've been fearful of letting that fire be exposed, that God. But help us from this day, that God, to not be ashamed of that God. Capacity, God, we give your name, all honor, praise, and glory, all that we say. Amen. Amen.